Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to download Nox. It's an Android emulator, which basically means an app player that allows you to download Android apps and games onto your computer as if you actually owned a tablet or phone. Alright, so to do that, click on your browser and insert the link I left in the description box. It'll take you to the following website. Click on download to get the software. If you own another computer system, like Mac, you can choose the proper download over here. It'll start downloading on the bottom left of your screen, so you'll just have to wait a few moments. It's a free and safe download, so don't worry about that. Cool, so let's open up the file location and click on the Nox software icon. I'll just let this load. Okay, now we can start. Oh yeah, uh, anytime you download something, it'll ask you for your administrator approval, password, right? So make sure to put that in and wait for this to load. So here is your home screen. Looks just like a tablet. Let's maximize the screen. Settings are on the side as you can see right here. More battery information, Wi-Fi over here. Uh, you can search for games and apps there. And even download new ones by using the Google Play Store. Why don't we have a look and try it out? So here are some popular applications already showcased on the first page. Musical.ly is one example of an app you can download. You can even browse the apps through categories, like the games one. So here are a bunch of games that you may or may not recognize. Let's just search for a game I personally tend to have on my phone, which is called 2048. So there are a bunch to choose from. It's always the same game, but with some variations. Uh, I'll go with this one, the original, I guess. So click install. You can accept. Make sure that your account is logged into. Cool, so let's continue and simply wait for it to load. For those of you who have never played it, it's a puzzle number game that's fun, addictive, and I guess somewhat mind challenging. Okay, so once it's downloaded, you can open it up. So here's just some basic instructions that I will just go through quickly. Let's play. And as you can see, I can actually play the game using my mouse, uh, move the tiles, earn points, and so on. It's functional. And what I really like is that it appears on the home screen. Right over here which is actually pretty cool. There are other apps already present, uh, the camera, Pokemon Go, and yeah, you can always go back to the Play Store and download whatever game and application you desire. Uh, all right, so that's it for this video. If you found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, feel free to share this video, comment, and uh, subscribe. I'll see you next time.